I'm now pleased to call on Amanda Neufeld, member of the graduating class, to make her remarks. I'm going to try to move this. It's probably better. Thank you, Dr. Buzzard. Mr. Chancellor, honored guests, fellow graduates, mentors, loved ones, siblings, and caregivers. My name is Amanda Neufeld, and I'm, the graduate, I'm a graduate from the School of Social Work, and I'd like to welcome you all here today and express what a privilege it is to speak on behalf of the Faculty of Health and Social Development and our graduating class. Before I begin, I would like to encourage everyone to recognize that we are on the unceded territory of the Silk Nation, and I'd like to express on behalf of the graduating class what a privilege and honor it has been to learn and grow here. We are a diverse faculty, so the idea of speaking to our shared experience was daunting to say the least. So I started to think about what ties our schools together. We are a health faculty and our commitment to professional practice and excellence binds our schools. But it probably doesn't come as a surprise that as a social work student, I couldn't help but focus on empathy and compassion as well. They are a common goal in all of the careers we hope to hold one day. We've dedicated our education to these notions and now we will go out into the world and dedicate our careers to caring for others and ensuring that others are able to reach their fullest potential and live the most beautiful version of their lives. But now is a time for celebration, to look back on all of our accomplishments and all the good we've already done. We can start to plan later. We have all the time in the world to make a difference and accomplish the goals that brought us to UBC Okanagan and our program in the first place. But for right now, as hard as it might be, I hope we can all be present in this moment. And for the rest of the day, soak it all in, because we have all achieved something remarkable. So try to be present today. But I know, as students, I'm sorry, as former students now, many of our minds are already wandering to the future. So if you find your mind wandering onto the next steps, the next goal, and all of the what ifs, try to remember that we chose a field dedicated to the well-being of others. So for right now, it's time to focus on our well-being. I know we all have the capacity to make an incredible difference by leading with empathy and compassion in each interaction. We are all leaders and visionaries as well as caregivers at heart. That's why we're here and why we pursued post-secondary education in this faculty. We've worked so hard and now is the time to rest. So I want to encourage all of us, myself included, to take the time to turn all of that compassion and empathy inward so that when we enter the field, we are the very best version of ourselves. On behalf of Alumni UBC, I am honored to welcome you into the alumni family. You now belong to a community of change makers and leaders that is more than 325,000 strong. Graduates like you who are looking to make a positive difference in the world. Visit the alumni welcome tent after our ceremony and see what it means to be a new member of the alumni family. And with that, I want to thank all of the people who supported our journey through post-secondary education and who will continue to support us as we begin our lives as professionals. They remind us to take care of ourselves and they take care of us when we can't. Words will never be enough to express how much that support means to all of us. And graduates, thank you for your commitment to leading with empathy and compassion as you work towards improving the health and well-being of our communities both near and far. Thank you.